Welcome to Beach Volleyball Terms 101. I'm your teacher, Mr. McKibben. And I'm also your teacher, Mr. McKibben. And we are gonna go through a bunch of different volleyball terms so that you can become more familiar with all the lingo and secret words of the sport of beach volleyball. Welcome, class is in session. Okay, so the first term is chowder. Riley, what's chowder? Well, it's soup. It's okay. just a, right off the bat. All right, okay. What chowder is in terms of volleyball is when you mishandle a set. It looks so bad that it looks like... Chunky, just sloppy chowder. Yeah. It's not a good term. You don't want to be considered a hand setter that sets chowder. Okay, next term, tomahawk. Tomahawk is a common weapon found in, among the Native Americans, I believe. Yes, I think you are correct. It was commonly used as a throwing. War weapon. War weapon, correct. Yes, used in training and in battle. But for beach volleyball. Beach volleyball, it is a form of defense. Not offense. When, usually when a blocker is dropping off the net. As a defender, if the ball is coming towards your face and it's a soft driven hit, you cannot set the ball, so you have to use different forms so you don't open hand dig the ball. It's funny because there's two different terms for the tomahawk, and that is, the next one is taco. Now, taco was introduced to me by... Jeremy Casebeer. Jeremy Casebeer. Right. Because it's overhand dig, it's usually like when a blocker is dropping, they're going the tomahawk, but Casebeer likes calling this the taco or the burrito. And then the... Empanada? I think it's quesadilla. Quesadilla? Quesadilla? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Yeah. So they're all overhand digs. Empanadas would be like So this. just to go over, tomahawk. Tomahawk, also known as the taco. Taco. Burrito. And then finally, the quesadilla. Quesadilla or empanada. It's not hard driven. You gotta find some little combination of Mexican food. Yes. Taco, burrito, quesadilla. Okay, next term we have is chicken wing. Chicken wings are usually formed by defenders, so Riley. It's when you're digging in a ball and it comes to your side and you can't really put your hands up fast enough, so you just flap your, flap your wings like a chicken. Yeah, I would say the person that does this the most, actually Riley does this even though he doesn't usually have to do it, but Riley and Taylor Crabb Style points. are probably the best at the chicken wing dig. Taylor's probably a little better. Yeah, just, just a little bit though. The next term is free ice cream. And I had never heard of this term until Casey Patterson. Right, it was popularized first by Casey Patterson. That's what I believe. 2004. And what free ice cream means, it comes with another term, which is uh, scooping, right? So scooping is when? Scooping is a dig. Scooping is when you dig. So balls hit at you, you scoop the dig, and Casey Patterson usually yells out free ice cream when he makes a scoop and hopefully he delivers because if he scoops and then gets set and then the blocker drops, we all know what Casey Patterson says, and that is six pack. Okay. Six pack. Hmm, where am I going Okay, with this? six pack is either a uh, three cans of beer. Um, I'm gonna be six cans of beer. So shoot. <laughs> times two. <laughs> that come in six. <laughs> or, a person who has stellar abs. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but in volleyball terms, Riley? In volleyball terms, a six pack is when you hit someone in the face with a volleyball. Yes. Straight up. And normally where the, where the term comes from is indoor volleyball. If you hit someone in the face, that person who got hit in the face would have to bring a six pack to I practice. I did not know that. Yes. There is a phenomenal play from Casey Patterson. Back in 2019, he was playing with Chase Buttinger. Someone took a swing, Casey Patterson took a massive hit to the face. The ball got dug, his sunglasses went flying. He came right back into the play, so that was a good dig, surprisingly. So never celebrate after a six pack. Make sure the ball goes down first because it could be a huge momentum changer. Yeah, that's a good point. Casey ate it and then threw it right back at him. 